Hello, my dear. Happy welcome to our global intercontinental heaven earth summit specifically designed for you happiness today. You know, scientists find out that human beings could use just 5% of their potential because another 95 is coming from God. And this was historically impossible to break through. But now, as we are living in the era after coming of heaven, after coming of uh, God, direct dominion on earth, we could experience this uh, because God could give missing 95% and this uh, we are doing daily in our very intense one hour daily uh, mobilizing every world by praying in global pray chain across the globe with the leaders, the biggest spiritualists across the globe, those biggest leaders who are really in touch with heaven across the continents, Asia, Africa, Oceania. So everyone who came in our meeting, they have many miracles um, and uh, fulfill their visions and dreams. Uh, so stay till the end, subscribe the channel, and share this message to billions to receive full blessing. Let me go with our greatest global program with the um, uh, powerful worship music and words of God and actual prayers across the globe. So happy welcome, rejoice together, sing along. Okay. again thank you very much dear los angeles family so powerful uh, global uh, powerful uh, heavenly inspiration uh, for happiness um, yes lord came again so let me rejoice in global uh, messiah and coming marathon and uh, your uh, the the word of God from Messiah and coming uh, today is a presentation about um, Noah's family. Uh, you know there was many great leaders in the world, but some of them they had key position in God's providence, and all of them are uh, rotted in the holy scriptures. So. Uh, 
take notes and share this message to billions because this is the ultimate truth and the whole the humanity uh, development research from all point of view scientific and religions and all others so let you go welcome back to the path to happiness and introduction to the unification principle i'm your host dr tyler hendricks as we saw in our last session, the Bible doesn't paint a pretty picture of our performance as God's children. Adultery, murder. The Messiah's mission is to free humankind from these two sins and to recover the beloved community in which we all can live as one family under God. It can be done. The second major event in God's story is that of another family, the family of Noah. You see, in the principle, we look at the Bible from the viewpoint of marriage and family relationships. It opens up a whole new vista because it teaches us how God works, not by us separating from our families, but by us creating godly families, which is the greatest act of love. Now, because Cain killed Abel, the providence of restoration centered on Adam's family was not fulfilled. But God's purpose to complete his plan for creation does not change. It will be fulfilled absolutely. On the foundation of Abel's faith, God established Seth, Adam's third, Adam and Eve's third son, and chose Noah from Seth's lineage to fulfill the restoration providence. After he was 500 years old, Bible counting, Noah had a wife and three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. God saw that human sin was never ending, and he saw that the thoughts of our hearts were always evil, and God lamented that he had ever created us. That is why God planned the flood judgment, to begin anew with one family, Noah's family, in the same position as Adam's family. Noah's family, therefore, had to establish conditions of indemnity for, to make the foundation for the Messiah in order to complete the restoration providence. The central person to establish the foundation of faith was Noah. He was the second ancestor of humankind, called 1,600 years and 10 generations after Adam. God blessed Noah the same way he blessed Adam. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation, who walked with God. He followed God's instructions absolutely, and he built the ark. Even when the world around him mocked him and his family didn't understand what he was doing. Under these conditions, God was able to render the flood judgment when Noah was 600 years old. So Noah became the first father of faith. On the foundation of Abel's blood, he fulfilled his role as the central person when the earth was corrupt and full of violence. The ark was the conditional object for the foundation of faith. Noah was able to establish the foundation of faith by building the ark. The ark symbolized the new creation. The three-story structure meant the three stages in the period of growth. The eight family members who entered the ark, Noah and his wife, and his, their three sons and their wives, represented the eight people recorded in Adam's family, as well as all humankind. And the animals represented all things in the universe. The reason God judged for 40 days of rain was to indemnify the four-position foundation in each of those ten generations from Adam to Noah that Satan had claimed. Forty, therefore, represents separation from Satan to make the foundation of faith. And it shows up again and again in the Bible. For example, there is the 400 years from Noah to Abraham, 400 years in Egypt, Moses fasting and prayer for 40 days, the mission of the spies in Canaan for 40 days, 
wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. The reigns of Saul and David and Solomon, kings of Israel, each were 40 years. Jesus' fasting and prayer was 40 days. When Jesus returned after the resurrection, it was for 40 days. The events that came now after this 40 days, Noah's 40 days of the flood judgment, had profound implications for the future of heaven and earth. And it's very interesting. Noah sent a dove from the ark once every seven days. The first sending represented Adam being sent to the earth. That dove returned to Noah, meaning it could not stay on the earth. The ideal of a perfect man in Adam did not stay on the earth, went back to God. The second dove represented Jesus. It too could not stay, it returned, but with an olive branch in its mouth, giving hope. The third dove represented the second coming. It found hospitable soil and stayed on Yes, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Hendrix. Uh, so powerful uh, presentation. We find out now uh, how this was in the Noah family and how he was working very hard 120 years day by day. So great uh, devotion to God. And uh, here we are in the same devotion 1120. Uh, 80, 80 first summit a row. We are going daily very hard and pray for God, for salvation of humanity as fulfilling all the scriptures. God asks us in the scripture to pray for the sick and we see how much are sick brothers and sisters across the globe. They are fighting with each other and the wars are allowing themselves in the era of uh, direct presence of God to fight and they don't want to go out of hell and remain there, fight and make love to marriage, corruption and stealing and worse. So uh, let me go further and uh, hear the fire uh, of global Pentecost words from the Messiah and coming. Okay, let me read together and take the notes uh, as these are notes for all of us and all humanity. All 8 billions need salvation. Doesn't matter who they are, presidents and uh, billionaires, everyone needs salvation. There is no anyone who needs to stay out of the heaven and suffer in hell. So, Messiah is speaking today about the philosophy of peace, a cosmic level ideology. The cosmic level ideology allow us to unite our body and mind and establish a family that becomes their essence of God's love, connecting this uh, through to both the spirit and the physical world. The Chinese character of uh, GV, Chongju, Cosmos means home. That is why we use the term cosmic level ideology. The cosmos uh, comprises the incorporeal and corporeal worlds. How can you relate to this? You need a family. If you cannot achieve unity in your family, you will have no relationship with the cosmic level ideology. The family is the ultimate standard that accomplishes this way of thinking centric on the cosmos. If you cannot sing praises of peace and happiness when that happens, you will be unhappy both on the earth and the spiritual world. And you see, dear brothers and sisters, that as far away uh, leaders from the family, the more are suffering their countries. The, the biggest dictators was without family and were with the problems with the family. Uh, those who have strong family have strong leadership and helping their countries. So let me go in our global prayer chain. And Messiah and coming and pray today for peace and the uh, real inspiring uh, happiness, the most uh, divine joy that we could uh, receive from God. Let me invite first our um, uh, priest Rajamoni to say the most powerful prayer for peace 
And happiness today. Happy welcome, dear Rajamoni. Please pray. Okay, let us pray. Our most loving Heavenly Father, we would like to thank you once more again tonight, especially <clears throat> in this very concrete moment. You are the only creator and savior. And we would like to thank um, you are the only provider and sustainer. So, but um, as we have been struggling a lot uh, in our ministry, it is very difficult. So without your Holy Spirit, it's not possible. The uh, challenge is ahead of us. So you grant your Holy Spirit to stand and move so over this area. And also we would like to pray especially um, for my ministry, that after tomorrow, that means by the next ride, we are going to uh, conduct a baptism program for by Mm, person uh, are willing to be baptized, let it be on time. Mm, although here is very restriction and mm, uh, prohibited by the extremist parties also, so that we can be able to perform uh, simplicity and uh, sincerely in a hiding mm, place. So you bless, uh, bless us on it. So that we can be able to success. And also, God, we would like to pray for Bangladesh people. Almost are hungry and appetite food and need of food, shelter, clothes, treatment, um, and whatever humanitarian problem you just provide by opening your heavenly flat gate and pour out blessing so that they may be able to uh, have their needs and glorify your name and extend your kingdom and also god we would like to pray um, uh, to have globally peace comfort and happiness um, especially global peace mission having great uh, mission and vision um, uh, to have peace comfort and happiness by the next 2027 let it be um, done um, uh, as soon as possible and Mm, you just unite us, especially uh, those who are donor partner and support us so that we can uh, join together and mm, uh, take um, immediate action plan to this needy world in this very world. You just bless us in that way also. And also, um, uh, I would like to pray uh, to stop all of all of um, kinds of. Uh, fighting, killing, blood setting, whatever um, barbarism is going on around the world without stopping it. We cannot have peace, comfort, and happiness. You just stop it. And very much thankful to Trump, who is going to be um, president over the USA. And also, please, please, please to stop all of kinds of fighting between. Ukraine and Russia and Gaza and Israel. So let it be done because um, as your children, they should be such kind of responsible person to stop all of kinds of atrocities and barbarism. And also you speak to Putin as your children in a state of killing fighting to uh, set his mind to serve the people, to save the people, and maintain your peace and comfort and happiness, so that all the world um, may be able to know that you are the only God and you are the only sustainer. And I stop to put in also such kinds of way. And also, we would like to pray those who are participating here from different countries, different states, as the minister. You bless all of them and enable them to carry out their ministry also. So in order to carry out your ministry, your Holy Spirit. Without Holy Spirit, you cannot convince or perform any kinds of people. So must require past your Holy Spirit. And secondly, 
your financial financial blessing also because without uh, expansion you cannot conduct uh, any kind of uh, meeting or conference and biblical knowledge is very deep and long and very much historical and very much primitive and it it has been since primitive is so and it will be at the end time of your millennium yeah and mm, your <clears throat> final time so you as well as us in that also so that we can be able to perform all of our duties with us and mm, you bless us all of things we commit in the name of jesus christ amen 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 Amen. 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 Thank you very much, dear Rajamoni. So powerful prayer. So good to hear from you. Thank you very much to pray for the world and for US and for all the countries, um, for all their salvation, all the leaders. Uh, may they really enjoy and rejoice happiness. Uh, let me go now uh, further in global prayer chain. Uh, I will enjoy to share the blessing from our side. Uh, please join my prayer. Dear Heavenly Parents, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, we are so happy to meet you today in direct Prince of God uh, and the Messiah's coming, Holy God and Son and Daughter that you send um, uh, that they already fulfilled the marriage of the Lamb and became the true parents for all humanity, real substantial God on earth. Uh, that was the uh, biggest dream of all humanity and all the world and all the, uh, uh, and God uh, and was uh, so difficult till now to 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 find this uh, only begotten son and daughter. But uh, now we are living with them in the direct presence of God in the God's direct. Uh, um, most blessed time, dear Heavenly Parent, today we pray for peace and happiness, real joy. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we see um, that um, uh, our brothers and sisters, uh, as we analyze across the globe, um, the brothers and sisters in India, they have almost every day some celebration they don't have any 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 needs uh, for uh, suffering and they always try to be in joy so that that is the first step that uh, to um, rejoice together with god to be very happy with god absolute uh, blessing and happiness and and, uh, and god's direct dominion dear heavenly parent uh, uh, same now, we all, 8 billion plus people on the earth, need to rejoice, really be so happy that maximum joy that we are uh, shedding our uh, all our sins to become as a fertilizer, Messiah Sangamin said, and go to kingdom, dear Heavenly Parent, now this is possible, and we see this mechanism right now in our meeting, and we see this we see the wall of this atonement that came um, on humanity after the fall now could be purified all of these uh, accusations satanic accusation for all the sins need to be purified and this is uh, the most happiest time that uh, we finally all human beings all eight billions and on earth and all billions and billions yeah numerous in the uh, those who pass already in spiritual world from Adam and Eve till now, all our ancestors, let them receive liberation and be in God's happiness. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, it is so blessed time that we unite together and we could accelerate God's kingdom together. You bless us with this greatest mechanism, with the prayer. Uh, the prayers uh, uh, was moving and driving the history. We saw... Uh, the history 2000 years ago 12 disciples of jesus they pray and pray and pray uh, after pentecost and uh, all the, the this uh, their descendants those who uh, believers build today's democratic world of brotherhood 
that Jesus was trying to build in his own time, but he was killed. Dear Heavenly Parents, we are so happy that it has it been done. And uh, more than this, based on this, Messiah's coming was sent by you on earth. And they, only got a son and daughter, um, bring the biggest victory across the globe. And uh, they was making uh, billions of devotions, saying, no, we are doing uh, our devotions, even not enough. But we understand that you lead us. You lead us with all you great power. And we unite together with you in one heart to save all our brothers and sisters. We fulfill all the scriptures right now in this concrete meeting. You ask us in the scripture to pray for the sick. And we see how much are suffering my, our brothers and sisters up to presidents and prime ministers and billionaires. All of them need resurrection and salvation. Some of them even want to run out to the Mars or uh, Moon to live there. Uh, but uh, the fallen nature, the sin, cannot be liberated even there. It's supposed to be liberated right now by the marriage blessing of the Messiah's coming. We heard in, uh, this presentation, and this is the substantial mechanism that thousands of uh, um, uh, couples, thousands of family already received Messiah's coming as Messiah inspired us today that we supposed to build a home, uh, the, and whole universe as a home under God's control. Dear Heavenly Parent, lead us, lead us every day, every, every second to rejoice together, uh, to get rid of uh, all the sin, our sin, and most important, our ancestors' sin, and um, then their neighbors and all of them receive the salvation right now in this global pray chain that Messiah in second coming inspire us to pray every night, to pray and every day to work. This is what we are doing. Dear Heavenly Parent, lead us and let we accelerate God's kingdom uh, every day, every hour, every second with this uh, global mechanism that you give us uh, as uh, prayers are more powerful than life and death. Prayers are more powerful than wars because uh, there was uh, numerous wars but around the believers, but the uh, believers build today's democratic world. And believers are moving now democratic world from the fighting between brothers to the greatest and most powerful God's blessed uh, heavenly kingdom once and forever. This uh, biggest victory need to be done right now, dear heavenly parent, lead us uh, every day, every hour, second. I pray, dear heavenly parent, Please receive this, uh, um, our day, everything what we did today. Uh, sorry that we have small results, but we go out with the Messiah's coming um, tool for witnessing with the um, Global Peace Ambassador uh, uh, Awards and awarding leaders. Invite them to the kingdom. And we are so happy to be together. I pray for all of them um, across the continents in uh, Oceania. Uh, Asia, Africa, Americas, North and South, and we and Europe, dear Heavenly Parent, lead us. You inspire us, and we fulfill this uh, um, prediction to meet two and more together. And here we are across the globe, and we pray very hard that uh, all this global liberation do now. Heavenly Parents, please receive this day as a pure offering. Help us to um, meet those people that you prepare, uh, those people in the John the Baptist missions, uh, presidents, prime ministers, billionaires, and the stars, everyone, this 1% of population that grabbed 99% of wealth and power in every country, they was blessed just with one reason, to meet Messiah's coming and finish building the kingdom, not a thousand years from now, but these days, 2024-25, Dear Heavenly Parent, lead us, lead us for Peace 2027 to uh, uh, work every day. I came right now in this uh, greatest uh, uh, global prayer chain, and this uh, so 
happy time that we finally the Messiah is coming. Jesus came second time and he fulfilled the marriage of the Lamb with the only begotten daughter. They became true parents and they built the kingdom and we are asking, uh, we are so sorry and asking for forgiveness, dear Heavenly Parent, that we was not connected till now, but uh, uh, we want to connect at maximum as it's supposed to be original with the original family uh, that you send right now, original family uh, of uh, Jesus' second coming. Let we unite with them uh, and, and uh, uh, as the, the Holy Spirit, socialization of the Holy Spirit, only God and Son and Daughter. And uh, this unity we see right now is building substantial peace. And this is the only hope for humanity because we see that uh, nobody, even those in power, they suffering so much, even on more power, with nuclear power, war of this power, crazy war me mechanism, they drive crazy these leaders to fight right now in Eastern Europe, Middle East. Liberate them! Dear Heavenly Parent, please receive this short report. I pray in my name as Nikolai Kirpale. I pray for my brothers and sisters across the globe. I pray for Rajamoni, uh, for his uh, community there, and all the Chakma community in Bangladesh, India, and all across the globe. And also here in Europe, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, lead us in this uh, world continent to uh, stop all fights, uh, not someday, but today. It is possible, and not just possible, it needs to be done. Dear Heavenly Parent, lead us, lead us to unite together and accelerate God's kingdom together. Now I bring this uh, day as a pure offering and this uh, short report. Uh, lead us with all your heart, dear Heavenly Parent. Uh, we know that uh, you are with us because be Jesus said that we are God's temple and you live in us and we need to be perfect as Heavenly Parent as Jesus was. And this is what we are doing daily. Heavenly Parent, please receive this uh, day. And the prayer uh, lead us to bring substantial results uh, today and every day. And uh, um, funds, uh, real substantial numbers, and the people witnessing brother and sister resurrected brother from the hell. Please receive this uh, short report. I pray in my name is Nikolai Kerpala, Center Plus Family. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Amen. Brother and sister, so good to be together. So good to rejoice together. May God lead you there across the continents. Um, share this message to billions. Turn on the list and listen to God's word. Sanctify you place 24 per 7. And subscribe the channel. Let me go and do God's will. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. For more blessings. Bye-bye. Okay.